A decision making and discernment from discernment from open intelligence are are incredible. You see, like a decision: who should start now, or what should I say right now? Simply by relying on the most fundamental intelligence that is inherent and innate to each one of us, things become really easy and simple. Even if it's not, or if it doesn't seem this way all of the time. Because of course, along the way of gaining assurance in open intelligence, in the nature of our mind, many things will come up. Have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, okay, introduction, boom, gone, okay, I'm sorted forever. You are, but <laughs> in a way, you start to experience things fully. And I was quite amazed to see, because I was always in touch with my emotions. That was just my, my disposition, since I can remember myself. And when meeting the training and being introduced to the fact that I have a mind, it's vast <laughs> and unlimited, and that I can educate myself via the tools and instructions of the Four Mainstays, suddenly I started to see a lot about myself that wasn't visible before, due to the mechanism of avoiding, replacing, and indulging. I, I just didn't live fully. And it was very obvious to me when I started to experience lots of afflictive states. Afflictive data from all kinds, colors, sounds, and magnitude, if you can say it. I just made it up. Anyway, but I started to feel it really deeply, and, and knowing that the Four Mainsters were there for me from the beginning to support me, and this takes a while to, to, to trust that. Why a whole organization that is based mo mainly on volunteers w would like to support me for free? What did I do that I deserve it? Why there's an entire community of thousands of people all over the world that wants the best for me? Why do I have a trainer who's there all the time, always loving, always supportive? Who made it up? Like, it's a, because I was so used to one way of living that was based on criticism, judgment, you are not good enough, fix yourself, flawed, bad, Suddenly, to receive this Four Mainstays gift to my life, this lifestyle, I needed to take steps, like gradual steps of getting, getting to know that it's safe and comfortable and that I can trust that. And I can give myself fully to that. Because by giving myself fully to the Four Mainstays, I started to see that I'm becoming a better human being. I'm becoming smarter, more relaxed, more at ease, and I have more joy and satisfaction in my life. Simply by allowing myself to align myself with reality one short moment at a time. That's a good one. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm forever grateful for Candice who came up with this combinatory pattern of instructions who, that can really solve all of the problems that we face today as human beings. Maybe in 20 years, people wouldn't, they won't need to suffer as we, we needed to suffer until we reached this education in the nature of mind. You know, things like panic attacks and, and depression, maybe they will resolve completely from the dictionary of humanity. And we will see them only around glass, um, thing is in a museum where we'll see a person like this and <laughs> there will be a title anger and we will, oh, wow, that's so weird. Or war, things like that, famine, all the important things, you know, letting things be as they are. We feel, wow, there's so much suffering going on right now. There's so much pain. Like, that's how I feel all of the time. With the th soothing energy of open intelligence. But, wow, there's so much... So much is going on for each one of you sitting here, for each one of us. There's an entire life story and currently so many things are going on. The dynamic energy of open intelligence, the mind constantly pouring forth, shining forth, data. We just need to know how to relate to it in great simplicity and great dignity. Because the way we used to live before based on reification, it's, it's, not, it's not a way of life that is built on dignity and respect of oneself and others. It is built on confusion and diminishing and disempowerment. So when you stand up and you choose to claim the power of your mind in short moments and via using the tools of the Four Mainstays, you choose to be empowered and to stop with a way of life that is just, it's unkind if you want to be polite. And it's ineffective. 
And that's surely my experience. I mean, okay, I spent 25 years of my life thinking about my problems and they were still there. I didn't solve them by thinking about them and paying to people to think about them with me. <laughs> they were still there. And when I made the, the, uh, the education, the proper education in the nature of mind of balance view, my problems are diminishing by the day. There's more clarity and more stability and discernment and easy decision making. Things like intuition, let it be as it is. Don't focus on it. I spend lots of my life uh, focusing on intuition, trying to measure it up to my goodness as a human being, as an evolved human being and all of that. Let it be. Don't think about it. Don't try to make anything out of, the, out of this data. Sometimes we really know what's, going up, what's coming up next. And sometimes we don't, right? Sometimes, oh, I'm sure I know it, and then, mm, no. <laughs> you know, we dream something, and okay, that will happen. No. And sometimes, yes. So it doesn't matter. You know, no need to avoid it or, or indulge it. Just simply let it be. It's really bizarre what's going on in my data world. <laughs> it's, never, it's never like the one I wish to have, you know, my data... My data are never the ones I wanted to have. They're always slightly incorrect, <laughs> if, if not totally incorrect. And the fun thing about it, that then you are in a community of amazing people. We share life together. So I can have all of the kinds of data that I have, and still I have daily interaction with people who are also taking responsibility. And I know that they are having the same thing. <laughs> Before it was, oh, okay, it's me this flawed entity that came somehow to this world, need to fix itself, need to be better. And now it's like, okay, wow, I'm really weird and bizarre most of the time, but I'm exalted. Hmm, I like it. I feel really exalted, regardless of my descriptions. 90% of them are negative. God, <laughs> it's annoying. Not really. So we, not, we don't make a big deal out of that, and that takes a while to get used to it. Yeah. Just getting used to it and settling into this reality of exaltation. Not to make a big deal out of it, allow it to be as it is, like a design drawn in space, like a pumpkin. Let it be as it is. Um, when we miss someone, I can share from my experience, uh, my, my girlfriend and I, we, most of the time we are like this. Which means that we travel all over the world and we are together. We know each other's thoughts and emotions. We know everything. If she's doing something there, I hear it from miles away or meters away because we're always next to each other. <laughs> Our service positions are similar and it's just funny. And one time, a few years ago, uh, I, was, I, w I went to, a tra to train in uh, Dharamsala in India, and she stayed at home. And because we got so used to be together all the time, you know, you, j you don't need to speak even. It's just like, mm -hmm. well. <laughs> and she, <kn> uh. <laughs> it's like lazy communication, but very potent. Because <laughs> if I want something, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I went to India and I had a, you know, those really dodgy Indian beds and, and a pillow. And the bed was quite small, but it felt so big. I was alone. For the first time since years, I was alone. Oh. <laughs> it was so funny. So I took the pillow and I hugged the pillow. And I was like, oh. And tears, <laughs> tears started to flow and... and I missed her very much, and we had some Skype calls. But the beauty was, you know, it was funny, of course, but the beauty was that really, I felt really complete, even with all the drama of feeling, wow, I'm lonely, and no one will understand me now, but, oh, okay, four mainstays, good, I'm never, oh, community, great. You know, I'm never alone. And also all the joy of feeling all of this drama going on within me, and not, not before I would do, oh, I'm a man. I don't need anyone. And then I was like a child broken in a dodgy bed in India, hugging a really smelly pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and taking short moments. 
not convincing myself that I shouldn't be feeling this, that this is too wimpy to feel. I wanted to be wimpy and powerful and exalted. And also by this experience of two and a half months of being apart, you know, distance apart, I learned to love my partner even more. The relationship continued, and of course, with technology is great. Like, uh, we could connect, so. And now I feel that I can be alone if I want to. It's fun, it's exciting, it's sad at times. The dynamic energy of my mind, again, wild and free all of the time. When we go back home, connect to the community, build a community. We are always there with you. I know it sounds a bit dodgy and again, takes time to get used to it. The four mainstays are always there for you. And if they are not, there's no a lived community next to you, build one. We will do everything to make it happen for you and for the many millions of happy people who will get to know this education in the nature of mind. We will do everything for that to, to, be, to make it happen. And up until then, connect. Clarity calls, benefit island, teletrainings, writing to your trainer. So really the isolation, one of the biggest fear I know for people who are aging especially, uh, is the biggest fear is to, to be isolated and alone, to be stuck in our hopes about the future that is about to end and thoughts about a, a past that is filled with negativity, maybe. So to cut this to the root, we have the four mainstays. Isn't it amazing to know that you don't, live to, you don't need to go through life alone, that you have a, a community of empowering people? Like the trainer thing is genius. I'm each time amazed. I thought many times along the recognition of open intelligence assurance, I thought, yeah, he's a sweet man, very dedicated and empower me a lot, but I don't need it so much anymore. I feel just great. And there come times where every time I thought, wow, I can take this relationship even deeper. I can get to know myself even deeper by the relationship with the trainer and by that be of more empowerment and benefit to the world. So now I'm okay. I'm in this humbling state of, okay, <laughs> I need a trainer. <laughs> Without a trainer, it would be really, really difficult. I wouldn't know where to go. You know how from reification you go to everyone? I remember my poor mother, I used to call her from all over the world. Oh, I feel it depressed today, or oh, I feel sad, what should you do? And she tried her best with the tools she had. Or oh, I called my friends, or oh, I called my partner, or oh, I called this. I, I paid people, I did. Now I'm just writing an email, it takes me 10 minutes, gone. It's genius again. <laughs> and it's so important. So open up to the relationship with the four mainstays and clarify your doubt and confusion along the way. And at the same time, learn, educate yourself and seeing how you can be of most benefit to the world. This, this is the result of the four mainstays lifestyle. We, we choose to be of more benefit to ourselves and others. We are no longer so wrapped up in our thoughts and emotions. It opens up a vast treasure of benefit within each one of us. And it can include everything. I know it includes everything. Pumpkins, missing people, sadness, arrogance, pride, jealousy, mm. depression, Le not knowing what to do, being embarrassed socially awkward, being sick, being healthy, being happy, dynamic benefit, <laughs> steering around. We just need to utilize it to be powerful in this world.